Here I have the four most common types of router bits. You have a 45 degree chamfer bit. You have an OG, which has an S shape to it. You have a round over and you have a cove bit. You notice they all have bearings on the edge. They're meant to be pushed up against an edge to follow an edge and have the profile on the edge. But there has to be enough edge there that the actual bearing will ride on that edge. What I'm gonna talk about right now is I'm gonna talk about the bearings on the router bits. Bearings on a router bit are meant to follow the surface. So what's gonna happen is if you don't have any surface there, this router bit's not gonna work. If you go down too far and it goes past, it's not gonna work. So it has to rest on the piece. And what it's nice about it is, even if there's a corner, like it'll just follow the corner and it'll follow whatever pattern, provided the bearing can fit into the pattern. When you're running the bearing along the surface, if, you're, if it's running along and all of a sudden you pull away on it, what's gonna happen is the profile becomes shallow. So what happens is you can just go back over it as long as you stay up against the bearing. This is a 45 degree chamfer. What it is, it's just breaking the edge at a 45 degree angle. If it goes all the way through from the outer edge or end and goes all the way through the thickness of the piece, it's known as a bevel or miter. When you're using a router, you're running along an edge, you always do the end grain first because what happens is as soon as you get to the end, what happens is it has a tendency of chipping out. At that point, if you run up that edge, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take away all the chip out. So what you need to do is you always run when you're handheld and it's on a bench in front of you, you run in the edge, you always run from left to right. And you can go right in a circle all the way around. I have a round over bit on right now and I don't want to do it in, in one pass. It's a little bit hard on this, uh, on this unit, even though it is soft pine. Once you get into the hardwoods, you're probably going to make two or maybe three or four passes to get to your finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through. And I'm going to If I look at the edge, the edge is uneven. There's, and if you look on the edge as it goes, it will be uneven. Where it's on a smooth surface, you can see that it's nice and smooth. It's gonna follow whatever the bearing runs into, it's gonna follow it. So if it's a step or anything like that, it's just gonna follow it. And it just makes for an uneven edge. So you wanna make sure you have nice straight edges. What I have here is I have a material, uh, a lot of people refer to it as a router mat. And yes, it's the same stuff that you put in your cabinets, in your kitchen and put your dishes on. Uh, the nice thing about it is if you have a piece there, it secures the piece to the bench, you don't have to clamp it. If it got a lot of dust built up on it, it'll slide around. But in this state, it actually is gonna hold it quite secure. What happens is this is a three quarter inch thickness. So if I put the bearing up and I set the, the average router bit to its proper depth on this, um, it'll work really well. If this is thinner, let's say five eighths, what happens is the bearing that you see here on the bottom, this part of it, this bolt that holds it on, will go too deep and what happens is you end up with this right here. It actually digs right into the actual mat and it leaves the impression of exactly what you were cutting, which in this case was uh, some small cutting board slash uh, pizza servers. And it made a bit of a mess on there, but it still works. Hope it has this kind of profile. And what happens is it's gonna leave the exact opposite impression in the wood. Cope bit leaves this kind of impression in the wood. Round over bit has this type of profile. Round over leaves this type of impression. This is a basic OG profile. An OG bit has this type of shape. This here is a 45 degree chamfer bit. They're generally 45 degrees, but not always. 